Hi everyone, I'm Ellie Stafford. Today I have my good friend Christy Aaliyah here. Christy tested many of the pizza recipes in Pizza Night for me. She's an incredible baker and cook, and she's incredibly knowledgeable about making pizzas in her uni outdoor pizza ovens. Today we're gonna make four pizzas from Pizza Night in, in her uni Coda 16, and she's gonna tell you a little bit about why she loves this particular model in a little bit. Um, if after the video you still have questions, don't be afraid to reach out to Christy. She's at, at Real Clever Food on Instagram. You of course can email me or DM me on Instagram as well. I'm at Alexandra Cooks, or you can leave a comment below. Um, okay, tell us a little bit about why you love this oven, and then we're gonna get started. All right, yeah, this is a mini Coda 16. I love this oven not only because it's an affordable outdoor pizza oven, but also because it's a larger pizza oven, so you can put make any style of pizza in this oven from thin crust to Neapolitan pizzas to Detroit pizzas in here. It's a fun oven and it's also very easy to regulate the temperature because we're using gas and I recommend gas for beginners because it's just a lot easier to cook with and maintain temperature. Sure. Great. All right, we're going to get started. It's super easy to turn on the Uni Coda 16. It's as simple as turning the dial on the side here. You turn it to the lighter position, hold it for a few seconds, and let go. All right, first things first, you always want to check the temperature of your pizza oven. Right here, we're at about 800 degrees in the center. Note, we preheated this oven for roughly one hour before we launched our first pizza. Okay. This first pizza is topped with Brussels sprouts and pancetta, yeah. and we're using rice flour on the peel to prevent sticking. All right, what you wanna do always is make sure that the pizza is not sticking to the peel. Just give it a little shuffle. You can see it's moving nicely, and then you'll be ready to launch. And you wanna aim for the center of the stone, like that. Nice. And we're gonna lower down the flame so we get a little bit more of a crispy pizza and a slower bake. So what we're looking for is for the dough to release from the stone and we're also looking for coloring to be happening on that back left corner which happens to be the hottest part of the uni oven. It actually is ready to turn out so we're gonna spin that around and you'll see if you waited long enough it'll spin pretty easily and if things are happening a little too quick in that back corner you could always bring the pizza a little bit closer to the front of the oven which is a little cooler so yeah i'm gonna rotate around to see what's happening over there Yep. And the wind definitely adds another fun element there. Sure. So we have the flame lowered down and um, it towards the front. So that way it slows things down just a little bit. Okay. Okay, looking pretty good. I think we're done. Great. Great, we're gonna finish this one with some balsamic and some whipped ricotta. Sure. Note, traditional Neapolitan style pizza cooks in 90 seconds or less at 900 degrees or hotter. This comparatively longer bake at a lower temperature helps make the crust a little bit crisper. It's still soft in the center, but it's not totally floppy. I think um, I recommend between each pizza to give the stone a quick brush off so that way you don't get any bitter residual flavors from any burnt flour that might be on the stone still. So just a quick wipe. Um, you want to be careful with the L-shaped flame. You don't want to blow the ashes away because the flame will actually come back at, at 
at you and people with long hair you know if you like it you don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> great okay, as always just give it a shimmy to make sure it's not sticking we're gonna aim for the middle of the oven here and we're gonna lower the flame down actually pretty quick here um, i'm gonna show you actually a trick we want this actually as low as this can go and so we're actually going back towards the off position here this is like a secret setting that's gonna bring the flame really really low Note, this is a thin crust pizza dough and it's topped with caramelized leeks and thinly sliced potatoes. Okay, so for a thin crust pizza, especially where that's pretty topping heavy, I recommend actually using um, a, the, a large metal peel to go underneath the entire thing and basically pull the whole pizza out and then turn it around on the peel. That way you could get it fully rotated and you don't have to worry about tearing it and it just get it's just a lot easier. Nice, that's a great tip. Note, in this thin crust dough, I use a little bit of double zero flour, which helps with extensibility, as well as some olive oil. If you love a thin and crisp, sturdier crust, you'll love this dough. To move things along here, I've sped up the playback here and there for the next two pizzas and slowed it down as needed. First up, we're making a classic margarita pizza. This one's also on the Neapolitan-ish style pizza dough. And we're also looking to see it lifted off the stone. So now is the time to rotate. Let's see, so you want to go a full 180 degrees. And for this last pizza, we're back to the thin crust dough, and this one's topped with pineapple, bacon, and jalapenos. I haven't always been a pineapple on pizza fan, but this combination converted me, and it's been known to convert other skeptics as well. I promise you, it's delicious.
with one of the extra rounds of pizza dough, we made a pizza sandwich and it was delicious. So stay tuned for a future tutorial on that. I hope you enjoyed this first video. If you have any questions, please do leave comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.